Welcome back to the Utah Fishing Channel. In this video, I'll talk about some of the great fishing opportunities Northern Utah has to offer. Keep watching to learn about a few specific water bodies in the northern part of the state and which species of fish you can find in each location. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel because it really helps. I want to start this video by saying thank you to the homestead in Brigham City, Utah for helping to make this video possible. One of my goals this year was to fish more often in the northern part of the state, but because I live closer to central Utah, it's sometimes hard for me to get up into the northern part of Utah to go fishing. A few weeks ago, the homestead in Brigham City offered my family a night's stay at their short-term rental while we explored and fished in northern Utah. The homestead is located just a few minutes from the freeway and is a very short drive from fishing destinations like Manaway and Hiram Reservoirs, as well as Willard Bay. The homestead offers pretty much everything you need in a short-term rental, including a large living room and fully stocked kitchen, three unique bedrooms, a bathroom, and even a laundry room and playroom for the kids. Hey. This rental is immaculately clean and comfortable, and there's plenty of parking space if you plan to bring your boat on your next fishing trip. Our favorite part of our stay here was the game room, which was stocked with plenty of activities and games for kids to enjoy. But we also really enjoyed all of the creative and cozy decorations that were unique to each room. We love supporting local businesses and services on the Utah Fishing Channel, so if you're planning a fishing trip in or around Brigham City, we can definitely recommend booking a stay at the homestead. Check out their website at familyfunhomestead.com. Now on to the fishing. Manaway Reservoir is a small, shallow reservoir with some big panfish. At Manaway, some of the most popular fish to target are bluegill, yellow perch, and largemouth bass. Rainbow trout are also abundant in the reservoir. If you're ice fishing at Manaway, it's a good idea to use small ice jigs or flies tipped with pieces of millworm or wax worms. If I were to fish for bass at Manaway in the warmer months of the year, I'd start with a Texas rigged four inch Senko worm fished with a slow retrieve close to the bottom with no added weight. Pine View is a bigger reservoir with many different fish species to target, including yellow perch, crappie, smallmouth bass, largemouth bass, bullhead catfish, bluegill, and tiger muskie. Unfortunately, I haven't had the chance to fish often at Pine View, especially in the winter, but on the few occasions I have fished there, I've had good luck with crappie and some luck with smallmouth bass using lures like small white curly tail grubs and tube jigs. If you're ice fishing at Pine View, small tungsten jigs fished in 10 to 20 feet of water near the bottom should be a good option for catching panfish. Last but not least, Bear Lake is a big, blue, and beautiful natural lake with some very unique fishing opportunities. I've only had the chance to fish Bear Lake once or twice, but I have been lucky enough to catch some big cutthroat trout there while using a white tube jig tipped with a night crawler. In addition to cutthroat trout, Lake trout are another popular species to target at Bear Lake. Bear Lake is also home to four species of fish that can only be found in this lake. Bonneville Cisco, Bear Lake Sculpin, Bear Lake Whitefish, and the Bonneville Whitefish. Well, there you have it. Three places to fish in Northern Utah. I hope this video gives you a good idea of a few places you can fish and a few tips you can try while fishing in Northern Utah. <laughs>